the next problem, ladies and gentlemen, is being able to. Uh, um, I, Uh, <laughs> okay, so um, basically the next thing we want to do is being able to identify and classify. Um, I'm perfectly fine. What we need to do is to be able to identify the degree and leading coefficient. So to do that, what we're going to want to do is have this in descending, um, descending powers, okay? And so basically what you guys want to do is you want to look at the x or the powers of each of the exponents. So here I have x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared. Um, here you guys can always write x to the first, and then here I can write x to the zero. So when we're writing this in descending order form, basically what we're doing is starting with the largest power and then going down. Make sure you keep the signs. Negative x to the fourth plus 3, I'm sorry, minus 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4 fifths x to the first plus 8x to the 0. All right. So does everybody see now the powers, how they go from 4, 3, 2, 1, 0? Do you guys see that? Yeah. Now, no. Well, that's what I was trying to make my point. I wanted to show that to you so you guys can see how it goes in descending order. But we know anything raised to the 0 power is always 0, 1. 1. 1 times 8 is 8. eight. So we don't really write x to the white. We don't really write x to the 0. And then x to the first power is just going to be x, right? So we don't really write that 1 up there either. But I wanted to show that to you guys so you can see how it goes in that descending order. So basically, now that it's in descending order, we want to be able to identify the degree and the leading coefficient. Now the degree is going to be the, lar is, is going to be the power of that leading term, which in this case is 4, where your leading coefficient is going to be the coefficient of the term, which is equal to negative 1. All right. So I'm not. Yes. Go ahead. You know, like you did, the, you raised the a to the zero power. Right? X to the zero. Yep. Yeah. So then why would you just erase the negative four fifths? I probably just erase x too. Because that's x to the first power. But I thought if there was just an x there anyways, it's to the first. Then you it is. It is. Okay. Basically, all I'm saying is three is equal to three to the first power, right? Same thing, right? There's no difference. I just wrote, same thing, x to the 0 is equal to 1. Right? Same thing. So all I'm saying is I just wrote it as x to the 0 just so you could see that the exponents go down, or the powers go in descending order. But we don't really, need, we don't really write that 1 up there ever. right? So I just leave it off there. And we don't ever really write x to the 0 instead of 1. I just wanted to show you that it's there. That's kind of how they do that. All right. But you don't have to write those in by any means. I was just a teaching technique. I was just teaching. I just did that for teaching.